Hello, this is Hiroshi Amazoe.、Uh, as I posted on my YouTube channel recently, I'm experimenting using the AI programs. And this live stream, in this live stream, I will try the interactive AI、uh, chatbot called ChatGPT. I will、uh, change the theme. Yes, this is ChatGPT. It is interactive AI that responds by text to users. And, and this chatbot recently very popular because of its. Uh, great potential to create very excellent sentences. And actually, I have tested a couple of times and I found that this ChatGPT program can many things like making, making articles or analyze something and also. Even create stories, and I posted、um, the stories created by ChatGPT in、uh, last uh, week. Yes, and、uh, today I will try ChatGPT、um, to、uh, question、uh, about. Uh, uh, I would like to know the answer. And uh, please uh, write whatever you want on the chat box, and you can、uh, request the question to ask ChatGPT. And I will try、um, ChatGPT for just test. First,、mm. like、uh, explain quantum computing in simple terms.、Uh, I think it is just an example question, and I will try this one because I would like to know that one too.、Oh, hello, Grace B. Thank you for participating in this live stream. Hi, how are you? I hope you are having a good day today. Uh, yes, uh, I'm having a very good day. And recently, Tokyo b e c a m e very warmer. And already,、um, some kind of species that bloom first uh, already, uh, I mean, cherry blossoms, that uh, is uh, some kind of species that early. Can early bloom is already blooming. Yes. And、uh, I'm doing just fine, and I hope you are fine too. <clears throat> so I will try in the first question to chat GPT that e x p l a i n quantum computing in simple terms. Let's go. Quantum computing is a type of computing that uses the principles of quantum physics to perform calculations. In traditional computing, data is represented as bits, which can be either 1, 0, or 1. In quantum computing, data is represented as quantum bits or qubits, which can be 0, 1, or both at the same time. This property of qubits called superposition allows quantum computers to perform many calculations simultaneously, making them much faster than traditional computers. Additionally, quantum computers can use a process called entanglement, which allows two qubits to become linked in such a way that measuring one qubit instantly affects the 
state of the other no matter how far apart they are. Quantum computing has the potential to solve problems that are currently impossible to solve with traditional computing such as simulating complex molecules, optimizing, optimizing large systems, and breaking encryption codes. Uh, I see. Uh, uh, so uh, quantum computing can uh, test uh, <clears throat> uh, multiple possibilities at the same time using the uh, property quantum mechanical property called superposition and also uh, the quantum computing can uh, mm, use uh, the process called entanglement which allows two qubits to become linked such, in such a way that measuring one qubit instantly affects the state of the other no matter how far apart they are. Yes, uh, that is, I had um, from uh, some scientists on YouTube. Hello, Gokuraku-cho. Konbanwa, Hiroshi. Ask ChatGPT to make a story about Hikikomori success. Okay, let's go. Ah, please wait while I making the prompt. Write a story about a Hikikomori achieving success. Once upon a time, there was a young man named Hiro. Who lived in Japan, Hiro had always been shy and introverted, but after experiencing a traumatic event, he withdrew completely from society and became Hikikomori. It's very similar as me. For years, Hiro rarely left his room and spent most of his time playing video games and surfing the internet. His parents were worried about him. But they didn't know what to do her to, to, to help him. One day, Hiro stumbled upon an online course about programming. He had always been interested in computers and decided to give it a try. To his surprise, he found that he was very good at it. He spent all of his time studying and practicing and soon became an expert in programming languages. Hiro started working on freelance projects and his skills quickly caught the attention of some big companies. Despite being a Hikikomori, Hiro was able to secure a full-time job as a programmer for a top tech company in Tokyo. At first, Hiro struggled with the social aspect of the job. He had never worked with others before and found it difficult to communicate and collaborate with his colleagues. However, he was determined to success, succeed and started attending therapy sessions to help him overcome his anxiety. With the help of therapy and his own perseverance, Hiro was able to become a valued member of the team. He even started mentoring other programmers and sharing his knowledge with them. Years later, Hiro looked back on his life and realized how far he had come. He had gone from 
We が引きこもり who never left room a successful programmer who was respected in his field. He knew that he still had a lot of work to do on himself, but he was grateful for the opportunities that had come his way and the people who had helped him along the journey. I think that story is, I think, very、uh, standard way to overcome Hikikomori state that a Hikikomori. Using computer to learn programming, and he b e c o m e proficient about the program, and he b e c o m e a, a freelancer of the programmer. And that activity caught attention from to、uh, attention by big companies, and he b e c o m e the employer of the company. And also, he Uh, deal with his、uh, anxiety with taking therapy sessions. I think、uh, that is like orthodox way to overcome Hikikomori. I think I will、uh, try to ask、uh, just a、um, simple question to Chat GPT. It is that how. I can get out of the Hikikomori state. g r a s b y this is a really inspiring story. It's good how this program can make any kind of story. Yeah. I think、um, in these days,、uh, b e c o m e proficient programmer is very great way to. Overcome Hikikomori, I think, because Hikikomori h a v e a lot of time and he can u s i n g computer in the room for a very long time every day. So they can learn about computer language to be programmer. Yes. And also, I think actually Hikikomori can learn. Uh, many, many things using the computer to proficient something, like also、uh, become foreign, proficient about foreign languages as well. Yeah. I think、uh, Hikomori h a v e a lot of time to learn something, and, and I think that is some kind of advantage. Yes. And using that advantage, Hikomori can. Get out the Hikomori state. Goku Rakucho, nice, sounds like GPT reading your resume. Yeah.、Uh, try augment the command to global Hikomori come together to heal the world.、Uh, augment the command. Okay, I, I will try that、uh, question to chat GPT. But, uh, uh, Before that,、uh, I asked、uh, this question how I can get out the Hikikomori state. I'd like to know the solution of the Hikikomori state, I think,、uh, from ChatGPT. ChatGPT said getting out of the Hikikomori state can be challenging, but it is not impossible. Here are some steps you can take to start your journey towards. Reintegration into society. First, seek professional help. Consider see- seeking professional help from a therapist or counselor who has experience working with Hikikomori. A mental health professional can help you understand the root causes of your social isolation and develop a plan to address them. Second, take small steps. Start by taking small steps towards reintegration. For example, you can try going outside for a short walk or joining a support group for people with similar experiences. It may be uncom- uncomfortable at first, but taking small steps can help you build confidence and reduce feelings of anxiety. Third, 
set goals, set realistic goals for yourself and work towards them, whether it's finding a part-time job or volunteering. Having a goal to work towards can give you a sense of purpose and help you stay motivated. Fourth, develop skills. Consider developing new skills or honing existing ones. This can help you build confidence and improve your chances of finding employment or pursuing other goals. Fifth, seek support from loved ones. Reach out to, fa- to family and friends for support. They can provide emotional support and encouragement as you work toward reintegration. Remember, overcoming hikomori is a process that takes time and effort. It's important to be patient and kind to yourself as you work toward your goals. I suppose this answer is some kind of perfect answer, I think. Like, uh, first of all, uh, considering as seek professional help like therapist or counselor. And sec- secondary, uh, take small steps like walking um, the neighborhood and or joining a support group for Hikikomori. And third, set goals like uh, to be employed. And fourth, develop skills, developing new skills. And fifth, seek support from loved ones like make family or no make friends or uh, like a partner i think that answer is perfect i think and maybe i can uh, uh, ask in detail in each part more but before that i will try gokurakucho's question global hikikomori come together heal the world oh, i will try to make prompt Uh, please wait a while I'm uh, making the prompt. I think and this question is what Gokurakucho uh, wanted, like write a story about Hikomori living in different countries around the world and working together and saving the world. Let's go.
it seems a very long story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there were Hikikoma living in different countries around the world. They had all uh, retreated from society due to various reasons and lived a life of social isolation. However, fate brought them together in an unexpected way. One day, a global crisis stuck, struck the world, threatening the very e existence of humanity. The hikikomori, who were usually invisible to society, were the only ones who possessed the uh, unique skills needed to solve this crisis. The hikikomori from Japan was an expert in computer programming and artificial intelligence. The one from South Korea was a master of robotics and automation. The hikikomori from India was a brilliant mathematician. And the one from the United States was a talent, talented scientist. At first, they were hesitant to work together as they had never interacted with people outside of their virtual worlds. However, the urgency of the situation forced them to put their differences aside and come together as a team. The Hikikomori worked tirelessly, using their expert expertise to develop cutting-edge technology to save the world. They communicated with each other through online performance and video conferencing, working around the clock to find a solution. Despite facing several challenges along the way, the Hikikomori eventually succeeded in developing a revolutionary technology that could stop the crisis. They presented their findings to the world, and within days, their invention was implemented globally, saving millions of lives. <clears throat> the world had been saved thanks to the collaboration of the Hikikomori living in different countries around the world. They had not only saved humanity, but they had also proved that their skills and talents could be saved for greater good. After the crisis had passed, the Hikikomori continued to work together using their unique skills to tackle other global challenges. They had found a sense of purpose and belonging, and despite living in different countries, they were united by their common goal to make the world a better place. And it's a nice story, but uh, I found that the uh, elements are very abstract, like there is no detail about the crisis, and also there is no detail about the how they saved the, saved the world. Yes, uh, I think uh, I will ask the detail of this story. Uh, please uh, wait a while. I will create prompt to ask the detail about the crisis and also uh, detail about how they could save the world. So I made 
a follow-up question to the chat GPT about this story. Please give me as much detail as possible about the world crisis in this story and how these hikikomori in different countries around the world saved the world. Let's go. A gokuraku show I like it too, but it is too general and tech isn't the heart of the matter. AI doesn't understand that yet. I think so. It's a too general and too plain, yes. I think uh, customizing prompt, it will be the story much more uh, different way. So, uh, and uh, I asked the follow-up question. Please give me as much detail as possible about the world crisis in this story and how these hikikomori in different countries around the world saved the world. And ChatGPT answered, The world crisis that struck in this story was a catastrophic event that threatened to wipe out humanity. It was a combination of natural disasters, including massive earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions that had occurred simultaneously around the world. The crisis had caused widespread destruction and loss of life, leaving entire cities in ruins. <clears throat> to make matters worse, the disaster had triggered a stories of global emergencies, including food shortages, energy crises, and mass migrations of people. The world was on the brink of collapse and there seemed to be no solution in sight. That's when the Hikomori, who had been living in social isolation, emerged as the only hope for humanity. They possessed unique, unique skills that could be used to develop cutting-edge technology to save the world. The Hikomori from Japan, an expert in computer programming and artificial intelligence, developed a sophisticated algorithms that could predict and detect natural disasters before they occurred. The one from South Korea, a master of robotics and automation, built a fleet, fleet of unmanned vehicles that could deliver food, water, and supplies to remote areas affected by crisis. Awesome. The Hikikomori from India, a brilliant mathematician, developed a mathematical model that could predict the movement of people displaced by the disaster, allow, uh, allowing aid organizations to respond more effectively. The one from the United States, a talented scientist, discovered a new source of renewable energy that could power the world without damaging the environment. Together, the Hikikomori worked tirelessly to integrate their technologies, which uh, accumulated in a revolutionary invention that could stop the crisis. They used their expertise to build a massive shield around the earth that could protect it from further national disasters. The shield was made up of thousands of unmanned vehicles and sensors that could detect and respond to natural disasters in real time. The Hikikomori had created a global network of machines that worked together to save the world. Within days, the Hikikomori's invention was implemented globally, saving millions of lives, and the shield around the Earth worked flawlessly, detecting and preventing 
predicting natural disasters before they occurred. The Hikomori had not only saved humanity, but they had also revolutionized the war world by using their unique skills and talents to solve one of the greatest challenges in history. I think this is a kind of superhero superheroes story that uh, from the movie from American comic like Avengers I think and uh, but uh, I think this Hikikomori heroes are just uh, not uh, necessarily Hikikomori is okay like uh, this towards people towards Hikikomori he heroes are just uh, genius thing genius people and not relating to Hikikomori state I think but I think it is nice story and um I will ask uh, the advice to improve how we can improve our life. Like, how can I how can I relieve my depressive symptoms? Oh, he answered very detailed way. I asked this question, how can I relieve my depressive symptoms? Uh, Chat GPT said, depression is a serious mental health condition that can affect many aspects of a person's life. While it's essentially essential to seek professional help or for depression, there are several things you can do to help relieve your depressive symptoms. <clears throat> First, exercise. Exercise is known to have a positive impact on mood and can help relieve symptoms of depression. Try to incorporate physical activity into your daily routine, such as going for a walk or a jog, doing yoga, or joining a fitness class. I think this is just a general advice that uh, um, everyone can come up with. Second, uh, get enough sleep. Lack of sleep can contribute to feelings of depression. Try to establish a regular sleep routine and aim at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. Third, practice relaxation techniques. Techniques like deep breath, breathing, meditation, and progressive muscle relaxation can help reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. Fourth, eat a healthy diet. Eating a healthy, balanced diet can help improve your overall mood and reduce symptoms of depression. Fifth, connect with others. Social support can play an important role on, in managing depression. Reach out to friends and family or consider jo joining a support group. S <clears throat> Sixth, engage in activities you enjoy. Depression can make it challenging to find enjoyment in activities you are enjoyed. However, it's essential to try engage in activities you find feel, feel feeling, uh, whether that's a hobby, creative outlet, or spending time in nature. Seventh, seek professional help. Depression is a complex condition and it's important to seek professional help if your symptoms persist. A mental health professional can work with you to develop a treatment plan tailored to your specific needs. 
which may include therapy, meditation, or a medication, or a combination of both. Remember, recovery from depression is possible, and there are many resources available to help you along the way. Mm, I think those answers are just general things, and I think uh, most of people already know. Uh, I think uh, I sh will. Uh, I would like to ask the chat GPT that if there is uh, some uh, very unique way to overcome depression, which like people cannot imagine, uh, cannot be, uh, cannot imagine. Aggressively, can you try a seal overcomes several obstacles in its way and becomes the first professional seal guitarist? That is, I think, a great question and it will be interesting answer. Uh, I will ask that uh, later, but before that, I would like to ask uh, a following question regarding how to become how to overcome depression uh, edmond moki tosk san uh, thank you for participating again edmond Fa uh, fighting crime from inside their basement hmm. oh, i'm not sure what you mean oh, uh, i will uh, first of all i will ask uh, the following question about the depression, and I will ask uh, Grace B's question. Yes. I'm uh, making the uh, prompt. Uh, please uh, wait a while. I will ask this question. Please tell me about unique ways to get over depression. I think over. overcome depression in ways that people don't know about and or don't think of. Let's go. So I asked the chat GPT that please tell me about unique ways to overcome depression in ways that people don't know about and or don't think of. And chat GPT said while the traditional methods of therapy and medication can be effective in treating depression, they are also unique and uncontrollable conventional ways to overcome depression that people may not have considered. Here are a few examples. Well, that will be interesting. First, art therapy. Art therapy is a form of therapy that involves creating art to express emotions and feelings. That This can be a powerful tool to, for those struggling with depression. 
as it provides a creative outlet to process emotions and express themselves in a non-verbal way. That's interesting. Second, dance therapy. Dance therapy involves using movement and dance to explore and process emotions. It can be an effective way to release negative em emotions and improve mood. Third, animal therapy. Spending time with animals such as therapy dogs or horses has been shown to have a positive impact on mental health. The presence of animals can help reduce stress and anxiety and improve mood. Fourth, adventure therapy. Adventure therapy involves participating in outdoor activities such as hiking, rock climbing, or kayaking to build confidence and overcome challenges. It can be an effective way to boost mood and improve self-esteem. Fifth, laughter therapy. Laughter has been shown to have a positive impact on mental health. And laughter therapy involves intentionally seeking out and engaging in activities that make you laugh, such as watching comedies or attending a laughter yoga class. Six, virtual, virtual reality therapy. Oh, that will be interesting. Virtual reality therapy involves using VR technology to create stimulated environment that can help people overcome phobias, anxiety, and depression. It can be an effective way to provide exposure therapy in controlled and safe environment. Remember, everyone's journey with depression is different and what works for one person may not work for other. It's important to explore different treatment options and find that Find that works best for you. Well, I think those answers are very interesting. And I heard about art therapy and animal therapy and laughter therapy. But I had never heard of dance therapy and adventure therapy and especially virtual reality therapy sounds very interesting like doing vr chat could be therapy for depression that will be interesting uh, i will ask the detail about virtual reality therapy and i would like to ask there is scientific evidence that could be alleviated for depression uh, please wait a while. I will uh, make prompt. I will ask this following uh, follow-up question. Uh, can you give me more details about that virtual reality therapy? And is there any scientific evidence that the therapy is actually effective in healing depression? Let's go. <clears throat> Uh, Kokurakucho, Elu, uh, Raf, yeah, he wrote that earlier. Watch the replay. Ah, uh, uh, I didn't read uh, Kokurakucho's uh, earlier message. 
That's great. One of my goals is to start a Hikikomori committee nature uh, retreat. You could ask AI to write about it. Edmond uh, Moi Suk Sung. Oh, never mind. I heard you talking about Hikikomori heroes, so I was curious how they are uh, to fight crime. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, <coughs> I wonder about that too. And uh, in uh, the chat GPT's uh, story, and they um, collaborate by using uh, internet, I think. Uh, because uh, the heroes like mathematician and uh, AI uh, technologists and also uh, like um, a professional programmer and they are all hikikomori and they collaborate each other uh, to save the world and <coughs> so I asked the following a follow-up question can you give me more details about that virtual reality therapy and there is any scientific evidence that the therapy is actually effective in healing depression and chat gpt said virtual reality therapy uh, mm. sorry uh, also known as virtual reality exposure therapy VRET. Uh, I heard about that in the first time. It's a form of psychotherapy that uses virtual reality technology to stimulate, assimilate realistic environments and situations that may trigger anxiety, phobias, or depression. During VRET sessions, individuals wear a virtual reality headset that immerses them in a computer-generated environment and a trained therapist guides them through exposure therapy exercises. For example, VRET can be used to treat depression by exporting, ex exporting individuals to virtual environments that simulate positive experiences or events such as relaxing on a beach or walking through a peaceful forest. This exposure to positive environments can help reduce symptoms of depression by increasing positive emotions, improving mood and reducing negative thought patterns. There is a growing body of research supporting the effectiveness of VRET in treating depression. A systematic review and meta-analysis published in the journal Depression and Anxiety in 2020 found that VRET was effective in reducing depression, depressive symptoms in a variety of populations, including those with major depressive disorder, depression relating to chronic illness, and depression related to life stressors. The study also found that he, the effects of BRET were compar comparable to traditional therapy and meditation. medication. That's awesome. Another study published in the Journal of Affective Disorders in 2021 found that VRET was effective in reducing symptoms of depression in older adults. The study found that participants who received VRET had significant re reductions in depressive symptoms compared to those who <coughs> received standard treatment. Overall, while more research is needed to fully understand the effectiveness of BRET in treating depression, the evidence so far suggests that it can be useful to, to in a treatment of depression and other mental conditions. It's important to note that BRET should 
always be conducted under the guidance of a trained mental health professional. That, that is very, very interesting. I didn't know such therapy exists. VRET Virtual Reality Exposure Therapy and it could uh, <clears throat> be great treatment method to depression. That's interesting. So people can play uh, like game like VR chat and treat depressive symptoms and this uh, article no this answer said uh, there is um, in this uh, session uh, it is need uh, a professional mental health professional so I, I suppose in the future there is uh, uh, some kind of treat method provided by a psychiatrist or a psychologist to depressive people using VR headset and and uh, performing uh, <laughs> virtual reality exposure therapy. I think it will be very interesting. Uh, sounds like it was pulled from a VR corporate manual. <clears throat> so next I will ask uh, Grace B's question. A seal overcomes several obstacles in its way and becomes the first professional seal guitarist. <clears throat> um, oh, um, please write a story that please write a story that a uh, seal overcomes several obstacles in its way and becomes the first professional seal guitarist I think my guitarist uh, spell is um, wrong maybe Mm. Oh, please wait a little bit. Yes. G-U-I-T-A-R-I-S-T. Guitarist. Let's go. <clears throat> So, um, chat TPT uh, answered in the deep blue sea, there lived a young seal named Sami. Sami had always been fascinated by the sounds of music, particularly the sound of the guitar. He would often sneak out of his underwater home and swim up the surface to listen the sound of humans playing guitars on boats passing by. I didn't know a seal have underwater homes. One day, Sami decided that he wanted to learn how to play guitar himself. He had never seen a seal play a guitar before, but 
but that didn't stop him pursuing his dream. The first obstacle Sammy faced was finding a guitar that he could play underwater. He searched far and wide and eventually stumbled upon a discarded human guitar that had sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Sammy quickly grabbed the guitar and began practicing his chords and strumming techniques. The second obstacle Sammy faced was the lack of musical knowledge and experience. Sammy was determined to become a professional shield guitarist, but he had no idea where to start. He spent countless hours studying music theory and listening to different genres of music to develop his own unique sound. The third obstacle Sammy faced was the ridicule and disbelief from other sea creatures. They laughed and mocked him, telling him that a seal could never become a professional musician. But Sammy refused to give up on his dream, and he used their doubts as motivation to practice even harder. Finally, after years of practice and perseverance, Sammy landed his first gig at a local oceanic music festival. The audience was spectacle at first, but as soon as Sammy began to play his guitar, he had everyone's attention. His unique sound and talent were unlike anything anyone had ever heard before. Sammy's performance was a huge success, and he quickly gained a following of fans who were in awe of his talent. He went on to play at many more festivals and even recorded his own album, becoming the first professional shield guitarist in history. Sammy's story taught the world that with hard work, determination, and a little bit of creativity, uh, any, anyone can overcome their obstacles and achieve their dreams, no matter how unconventional they may seem. That's a wonderful story that created by ChatGPT. And in the last there is uh, the lesson to learn as well. But uh, I wonder how he can prank guitar because shields have haven't fingers, I think. And also and that uh, this word is very interesting. Oh uh, I mm, yes, a local o oceanic music festival. What a ridiculous sentence. A local oceanic music festival. Uh, I will ask the detail about a local oceanic music festival. Please tell me more about the um, oceanic uh, a uh, the 
local osha nick music festival and <clears throat> festival also how could a seal the seal play the guitar without fingers please Please give me more details about this. Yes, and I will a follow up question that please tell me more about the local oceanic music festival. Also, how could the seal play the guitar without fingers? Please give me more details about this. Let's go. <laughs> Gresby, this is such a cute story. Yes, that is. Uh, Akokurakujo, what the site address for using ChatGPT? Can you use it directly online website or do you need a PC? Uh, I think uh, I'm doing PC, but uh, I think you can use by smartphone. And the site you can reach by searching the keyword chat. GPT, then you will find it. Uh, Gillespie, I wish it was true that deep in the ocean there is actually an oceanic music festival. I hope so too. Gokurakujo, uh, just listen for whales and scare away the nuclear subs. Uh, I see. <laughs> So uh, I did a following follow-up follow question about that story. Please tell me more about the local oceanic music festival. Also, how could the seal play the guitar without fingers? Please give me more detail about this. And ChatGPT answered. The local oceanic music festival was a highly anticipated event that brought together musicians and music lovers from all over the ocean. It was held on a large coral reef stage that was surrounded by schools of colorful fish, swirling seaweed, and curious sea turtles. The festival featured a wide range of musical genres from pop to rock to jazz and drew in a diverse crowd of both sea creatures and humans, or humans as well. But uh, I didn't know about that. As for the question of how a seal could play the guitar without fingers, well, I would like to know that very much. It's true that seals do not have fingers in the traditional sense. However, Sami found a way to adapt and use his flippers to play the guitar. That makes sense. He discovered that by using his flippers to press down on the strings and strumming with his mouth, he could create beautiful melodies and chords. It was a unique and unconventional technique, but it worked. Sami's in innovative approach to playing the guitar became one of the defining features of his sound, and it helped him to stand out from other musicians. As Sami took the stage at the Oceanic Music Festival, he felt a rush of adrenaline as the crowd erupted into cheers and applause. He began to strum his guitar, feeling the music flow through him as he played. 
the sound was beautiful and enchanting, echoing through the ocean and captivating everyone who heard it. As Sami prayed, he closed his eyes and let the music take him away. He was no longer just a seal playing a guitar, but an artist sharing his soul with the world. The festival was a huge success and Sami's performance was one of the highlights of the event. He received enormous offers to a numerous offers to perform at other festivals and venues and his career as a professional seal guitarist was born. In the end, Sami's story showed that with creativity and perseverance, even the most unconventional dreams can become a reality. His inno innovative approach to playing the guitar not only helped him to achieve his goals, but also inspired others to think outside the box and push the limits of what is possible. That's an impressive answer. That's great. Gokuragcho, uh, uh, it's SpongeBob there. Uh, Lucas Tyler, hello Lucas Tyler, thank you for participating. Today I'm trying and experimenting with ChatGPT. Gokuragcho, uh, <coughs> he plays like a Shamisen fan. Gillespie, I'm going to become a part of the Sami fan club. I see. <laughs> That was incredible answer. Yes, that was great. So um, I will make another question. Like, um, oh, I, I would like to see this. How I can lessen the procrastination habit? And ChatGPT said procrastination can be a difficult habit to break, but with practice and perseverance, uh, mm, oh, I forgot the uh, pronunciation of this. Uh, I need to see. Uh, please wait a while. Perseverance. Perseverance. It is possible to lessen its hold on your life. Here are some tips to help you overcome procrastination. First, set clear goals and deadlines. When you have a clear idea of what you want to accomplish and when you want to accomplish it, you are more likely to stay motivated and focused. Second, break tasks into smaller, manageable. Oh, I did it, and I said in another uh, video of my YouTube, break tasks into smaller, manageable, manageable pieces. The AI think so too. Large tasks can be overwhelming and lead to procrastination. Break them down into smaller, more manageable pieces that you can tackle at one at a time. Use a timer. Set a timer for a specific amount of time and work on a task for that period without interruption. This can help you stay focused and make progress without getting distracted. Eliminate distractions. Identify the things that distract you the most and try to eliminate them. This could mean to tuning off your phone, working in a quiet room, or using apps that block distracting websites. Practice self-compassion. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you slip up and procrastinate, recognize that it's a common habit and focus on getting on back to track. <clears throat> Six, use positive reinforcement. Reward yourself for making progress and meeting deadlines. This could be something as simple as taking a break to go for a walk or 
treating yourself to something you enjoy. By using these tops, uh, tips and techniques, you can start to break the habit of procrastination and become more productive and effect efficient in your daily life. Remember, it takes time and effort to overcome procrastination, but with practice and patience, you can do it. I think those uh, advices are just general things. I think uh, um, I think I do everything and I actually I have a timer as well. This is the timer and like uh, using this uh, I can set a deadline uh, for the uh, task and it, it will be very useful. And I also I can also use that timer with uh, break and uh, determine my resting time as well. And um, uh, I'd like to ask this question as well. Let's try. Tell me about a breakthrough to get out a uh, hikikomori situation. Get out of hikikomori situation, which is something like nobody has ever thought of before. Let's go. Grace be timers and taking breaks is really helpful. Yes, uh, it is very helpful. Because I think uh, we need uh, some time period to focus because we cannot focus um, continuously very long time. So we need to split up the times to uh, the uh, concentrate time and um, breaks determined uh, concentrate times and also resting time by using such uh, clocks. So I have asked this question to chat GPT. Tell me about a breakthrough to get out of Hikikomori situation, which is something like nobody has ever thought of before. And chat GPT said, <clears throat> while there is no one size fits all solution for overcoming the Hikikomori situation. There have been some breakthroughs in recent years that offer a new and innovative approach to tackling this problem that will be interesting. One such breakthrough is the use of virtual reality technology to create immersive and engaging environments that can help Hikomori individuals reconnect with the outside world. Oh, that is similar as that uh, VR uh, therapy for depression. Yes, and uh, this technology allows individuals to experience different scenarios and situations that simulate real world experiences, allowing them to practice and develop social skills in a safe and controlled employment. For example, a Hikikomori individual may use virtual reality to practice job interviews, public speaking, or social interactions. They can receive feedback and guide guidance from virtual coaches or therapists, allowing them, <coughs> allowing them to build confidence and improve their skills gradually. Another breakthrough is the use of online support committees, where Hikikomori individuals can connect with others who are going through similar struggles. These committees offer a safe and supportive space where individuals can share their experiences, seek advice, and receive encouragement from others who understand their challenges. 
In addition, some h i k o m a individuals can find success in pursuing non traditional careers that allow them to work remotely from home. This includes freelance work, online tutoring, or starting their own online businesses. These careers offer the flexibility and autonomy that. h i k o m a individuals often desire while also providing a sense of purpose and accomplishment. While these breakthroughs may not work for everyone, they offer an innovative ways to approach the h i k o m a situation and hope, offer hope for individuals who are struggling to overcome this difficult challenge with continued research and development. There is Potential for even more breakthroughs in the future could help more individuals break free from the cycle of isolation and <coughs> withdrawal. I think, um, hmm, like uh, a first、uh, breakthrough is using virtual reality technology by VR headset to immerse. The virtual world that simulates certain situations like job interviews and like、uh, doing a job in the、uh, virtual reality environment. But、uh, I, I found that、uh, I actually I have tried only a couple of times、uh, VR headset and、uh, VR chat, and I found that. Uh, sometimes it will become very nervous to interact interacting with others, even in virtual reality world, because I need to communicate with my voice, and it's like、uh, almost the same as telephone to something because I need to speak with another avatar, and actually, it makes me. Uh, nervous, same as in real world. So, actually, I'm not sure it will be effective for Hikikomori people regarding virtual reality therapy things. But if、uh, virtual reality is created by only computer, like、uh, another avatar, other avatars are all. Non player character and they managing by the AI. I think that will be a good practice to deal with another people. I think. And second breakthrough is use on- online support committees. I think that is just a general way.、Mm. I think that is an interesting answer.、Mm, uh, Lucas Tyler, I don't have the self discipline that LOL. Gokurakcho, temporarily sure. Real nature and creative social opportunities are the best for b r e a k us from the shell. I agree. Yes,、uh, creative social opportunities. Yeah, I think so too. Actually, I'm very,、uh, my throat b e c o m e a little bit pain because I have reading a lot of text.、Uh, but、uh, I will try uh, about uh, 30 minutes more. Actually, I found.、Uh, Trying this chat GPT is very, very interesting. So、uh, I will try another question. I would like to ask this question, and I think this kind of things my、uh, Italian friend said like this, too, and sometimes. Uh, in the comment on my YouTube channel, people say this like, I hate this com- 
competitive, competitive, uh, I couldn't pronounce competitive society, like uh, compete to others. Uh, please tell me how to live without much involvement with this society. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> And chat GPT answered <coughs> that living without much improvement in a competitive society can be challenging, but it is possible to find ways to live a fulfilling and meaningful life without feeling constantly pursued by the demands of society. There are some tips to help you live a more fulfilling life with less involvement in society. <clears throat> First, simplify your life. Focus on the things that are most important to you and let go of unnecessary distractions. This could mean downsizing your living space, simplifying your positions, or cutting back on commit commitments. Uh, it's like, uh, I forgot the name, uh, what's the word, uh, mm, minimalist, minimalist uh, kinds of um, lifestyle. Second, <clears throat> cultivate uh, mindfulness, practice mindfulness techniques such as meditation or deep Breathing take exercises to help you stay focused and present in the moment. This can help you avoid getting caught up the competition and stress of society. So like uh, meditation and breathing, like yoga. Third, connect with nature. Spend time in nature to help you find peace and Ta tranquility away. Uh, I need to um, Google this word because I just don't know this word. Tranquility. Tranquility. I see. <clears throat> it's like quiet. Uh, tranquility away from the pursuits of society. This could mean going for a hike, camping, or simply spending time in a park or garden. Actually, this chat GPT gave me English lesson as well. A fourth, develop hobbies and interests. Pursue hobbies and interests that bring you joy and fulfillment. This could be anything from art to music to sports. By focusing on activities that you enjoy, you can find meaning and purpose in your life outside of society's experience. Expectations. Uh, fifth, build a supportive community. Surround yourself with like minded individuals who share your values and interests. This could mean joining a local club or group, volunteering, or connecting with others online. Remember, everyone's journey is unique and it's okay to take time to you need to find the right balance between your needs and society's demands by prioritizing your own well-being and finding ways to live fulfilling life outside of society expectations you can find peace and happiness in your own way hmm. I think uh, those advices are just uh, general things, but uh, I think it's important. Yes. And effective. <clears throat> Simplify the life and uh, practice mindfulness by meditation or uh, blessing exercises. and connect with nature like ha doing hike and force develop hobbies and interests 
like uh, pursue arts and fifth build a supportive committee like human relationship I think that those are basics but it's important I think And uh, hello, Shido GM. Thank you for participating. It's competitive. Competitive, yes. Thank you for the um, explain about the Panas Nation. Gokuraku uh, Show, I'm with you on that state sentiment. Cooperative ventures, living with nature, are definitely my medicine. Co uh, creative project. Lucas Tyler, I have to go now. Hope you have a good rest of today. I really enjoy your videos. Thank you, Lucas. And I hope you will have a good day too. Uh, Kokurag Show, good advice. Shido GM, how to do mindfulness for a beginner? Oh, I will ask uh, that uh, later. Uh, hello, Regis of White Bay. Thank you for participating uh, again. Hi, Hiroshi. Awesome to learn about ChatGPT, the newest SaaS park episodes shows that this is good to write essay. It was amazing. I wonder if this will help students write an essay. Yes, uh, I have tried a couple of times so far and I found that this chat GPT can create very good essays and articles and also stories as well. I think this is very great program and I but uh, at the same time a uh, little bit scary about this program because this program is so uh, very good aggressively being in nature and watching the animals really does help it's a good direction from society and it's helpful when I feel lonely yes uh, I um, agree with you uh, nature um, spending a time in nature like in the mountains or forest can be healing experience for people Gokurak show I will have to watch the new suspect yes uh, I would like to see that episode too so uh, I will ask Shido GM's question how to do mindfulness for a beginner? How to do the mindfulness techniques for a beginner? And ChatGPT answered that if you are a beginner to mindfulness techniques, here are some simple steps to get started. First, find a, find a quiet and com comfortable place to sit or lie down where you won't be uh, disturbed. Second, cross your eye close your eyes and take a few deep breaths focusing on the sensation of the breath moving in and out of your body third begin to observe your thoughts without judging or getting caught up in them imagine your thoughts as clouds passing through the sky and simply observe them as they come and go. Fourth, focus your attention on your body and the physical sensations you are experiencing, such as the feeling of the ground breath you uh, the ground beneath you or the sensation or the air on your skin. Fifth, if your mind begins to run the uh, gently bring your focus back to your breath or physical sensations. Six, uh, 
Uh, practice this for a few minutes each day, gradually increasing the time as you become more comfortable. It's important to remember that mindfulness is a practice and it may take some time to develop the skills to maintain focus and awareness. Don't be too hard on yourself if you find your mind wandering or if you are having trouble staying focused. The key is to keep practicing and approach it with a sense of openness and curiosity. There are also many resources available such as books, apps, and online courses that can provide more guidance and support as you develop your mindfulness practice. I think that is a great answer. Actually, uh, I found that I can, if I do a follow-up question, the chat GPT can, ask, uh, can answer more detailed way and I can, um, the conversations deeper, more and more by doing a following quest, follow-up questions. <clears throat> <clears throat> Red White Bed, speaking of South Park, I'm glad that Japanese toilets and higher, their high quality are on the world stage after a recent South Park episode. Japanese toilets are such a high level. Yes, a Japanese toilet is very famous for its technology throughout the world. I know, and sometimes, uh, and it is uh, used for some meme, internet meme. Yes. Mm. And next, uh, I would like to ask this question to chat GPT. Will AI free people from their jobs? Also, if AI will free people from jobs. Please elaborate on the five specific steps that will be taken to free people from jobs. And uh, ChatGPT said, an error occurred. If this issue passes, please contact us through our help center at help. Mm, uh, I will uh, refresh the page and try it again. Uh, and uh, ChatGPT answered, AI has the potential to automate many tasks and jobs, which can lead to a reduction in the number of human workers needed in some industries. However, the impact of AI on employment is complex and depends on many factors, including the types of jobs, industries, and skills involved. While AI can certainly replace human workers in some tasks and roles, it can also create new jobs and opportunities in other areas, such as AI development, data analysts, and machine learning. In fact, many experts predict that AI will lead a new a net increase in jobs in a long run as new industries and roles emerge. That being said, if we assume that AI will free people from jobs, it's hard to outline specific steps that will be taken to achieve this goal as it will depend on various factors such as the industry, the types of work and the level of AI development. However, some general steps that could be taken to help transition people out of jobs that are becoming automated might include. First, education and training. Providing education and training programs to help workers develop new skills and find new job opportunities in emerging fields. Second, social safety nets. 
implementing society safety nets and support programs to help workers who lose their jobs due to automation transition to new employment or alternative means of support. Third, workforce planning. Conducting workforce planning and job market analysis to identify industries and occupations that are likely to be impacted by automation and developing strategies to help workers transition to new jobs or industries. Fourth, universal basic income. Implementing a universal basic income or other form of guaranteed income to provide a basic level of financial support to all citizens, regardless of their employment status. That will be very great. Uh, fifth, research and development. Investing in research and development to create new technologies and industries that can provide new job opportunities for workers. <clears throat> mm, so, uh, AI could uh, reduce uh, people's uh, jobs by replacing their jobs, but uh, he said uh, it will, um, it cannot be comprehensive uh, explanation uh, about that because it will it is very complicated issue, but he uh, answered uh, like, um, I think the first step uh, in education and training uh, is very interesting because I found that AI could be very great teacher because in schools, teacher teach uh, just uh, 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 the certain things in uh, <clears throat> the way uh, that certain way so I think AI could be replaced to teachers or professors and but uh, I think um, uh, that uh, I worry about uh, AI cannot have emotion. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> mm, ah, Gokurakcho, bodies should be mandatory. LOL. Uh, ah, MS, thanks, Hiroshi. I have really enjoyed this session so far. Thank you for demonstrating ChatGPT. I am learning a lot. Thanks to you. That's great. I'm glad that you enjoyed this session and you can see uh, how ChatGPT works and you can use this program because this program is completely free to use so you can utilize this tool. <clears throat> yes, Ashujim, uh, can you ask what kind of jobs is good for autistic person who is bad Visual thinker. Oh, I see. I will ask it <coughs> later. Uh, hello, stop by Thomas. Thank you for participating again. It's been a while. And today I am uh, experimenting with Chat GPT, which is very good chatbot. Gokurakucho, Shido. Good question. Anything creative and or logical in my experience? Experience. Uh, let's find a better. Universal basic income is such a good idea. Australia has a high level of homeless and it is sad. We would love to have an income source for all vulnerable, uh, vulnerable people. We want that in Australia. Yes, uh, I agree too. And in Japan, uh, there is uh, many people that would like to have universal basic income. And de by developing the AI, uh, it can be uh, uh, possible, uh, I think, because ChatGPT said so. Yes. So, uh, oh yes, I will ask Shido GM's question. Uh, please wait a while, I need to create 
Pronto. What uh, kind of jobs are good for autistic person who is visual thinker? And I will add uh, follow-up sentences. And uh, I will this add this please list five and please explain in detail the reasons for each. Let's go. I asked what kind of jobs are good for autistic person who is visual thinker. Please list five and please explain in detail the reasons for each. And chat GPT said Autistic individuals who are visual thinkers may excel in certain types of jobs that play to their strengths, such as attention to detail, strong visual memory, and pattern recognition. Here are five potential jobs, job options for visual thinkers with autism. <coughs> First, graphic designer. This is a great job for someone with strong visual skills and creativity. Graphic designers use a combination of software tools and handwriting drawing skills to create visual concepts, logos, and other design elements for businesses, organizations, and individuals. Second, architect. An architect's job involves <coughs> Designing buildings and other structures using a combination of technical skills and artistic flair. This job requires a high level of visual and sp spectacle skills, as well as the ability to think creatively and solve complex problems. Third, data analyst. <coughs> data analysis involves analyzing large amounts of information and looking for patterns and trends. Visual thinkers may be well suited for this type of work, as they are often able to see patterns and connections that others may miss. For Photographer. Photography is a great career option for someone who loves working with visual media. Photographers use their artistic skills to create images that capture the essence of people, places, and things. This job requires attention to detail, creativity, and <coughs> an eye for composition. Fifth, video game designer. Many autistic individuals are drawn to video games, and some may be interested in pursuing a career in game design. This job requires creativity, problem-solving skills, and the ability to think visually and spatically. Game designers work with tons of developers and artists to create immersive game experiences for players. It's important to note that this job options may not be suitable for every autistic individual as everyone's strengths and interests are unique it's also important to ensure that any workplace environment is accommodating and supportive of individuals with auti autism 
Hmm. I think towards jobs are、um, much more like、uh, creative, creative、uh, work、uh, or like artistic work.、Hmm. Actually, I have a throat pain because I read、uh, too much text today. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, no, uh, I already uh, read this. Uh, uh, Regist white bed. Universal. Uh, uh, I already read that too. Go crack j o I agreed. Yes.、Um, maybe I will just、uh, one more question because、uh, I um, very uh, I have um, a pain in my throat. So I have. Uh, uh, Reach the、uh, limit of my voice. I will ask this question Can AI create an environment in which individuals can live in h i k o m o r i state in the future? a s h i r o GM, how can you get help online for autistic p e r s o n I see,、uh, I will ask it. <clears throat> Then,、uh, ChatGPT said it's important to note Hikomo is <coughs> sorry,、uh, it's a complex social issue that has many under. Cases including social economic factors, family dynamics, mental health issues, and cultural expectations. While AI could potentially create an environment in which individuals could live in h i k o m o r i state, it's not desirable outcome for or a solution to the problem. h i k o m o r i is a condition in which individuals withdraw from society and avoid social interaction or for extended periods. It's a Associated with a range of negative outcomes, including depression, anxiety, and social isolation. Living a Hikoma state can also have negative impacts on individuals' physical health as they may not engage in physical activity or maintain a healthy diet. While AI can provide individuals with access to virtual environment and digital interactions, it cannot replace the benefits to, of face to face human interaction. Which is necessary for maintaining social and emotional well being. AI can potentially exacerbate the problem of social isolation by providing individuals with an easy way to avoid social interactions altogether. Instead of creating an environment in which individuals can live in a h i k o m o r i state, it's important to address the underlying issues that contribute to this problem. This includes addressing mental health issues, improving access to health care, creating opportunities for social interaction and community engagement, and addressing social and economic equality. By addressing these underlying issues, we can create a society that is more supportive and inclusive everywhere. I think ChatGPT has. Uh, some kind of standard like some, this、um, uh, chat GPT has morals and like、uh, has political correctness. So he always said very um, uh, ethnical way. A、uh, legit white paper, the chat GPT response is very thoughtful. What drink do you have this evening? I have drunk a stony lemon. Oh, this is、uh, just a、uh, water. Yes. Let's f i n a voice. Sorry about your voice, my friend.、Uh, it's okay. Uh, I just, uh, I'm, uh, I have read too much text today, but、uh, I will hear 
tomorrow. Uh, I always experience this when I uh, read uh, so much text uh, by my voice, but it will he heal soon. Uh, Gokurak Cho, what YouTube channel ought to from the inside? Uh, I will ask uh, Shido GM's question for the last. How can you get help online for autistic person? Let's go. Uh, and chat DPT uh, answered. Getting help online for autistic person can be a great way to access resources and support, especially during the current pandemic when many in-person services may be limited for unavailable. Here are some ways to get online go get help online for autistic person. First, online support groups. Many online support groups exist in individuals with autism and their families. These groups can provide a safe and supportive space to share experiences, ask questions, and get advice. Some examples of online support groups include Autism Speaks, Autism Society, and the Autism Women's Network. Tele teletherapy. Many therapists and mental health professionals now offer teletherapy services, which can provide support and counseling to individuals with autism from the comfort of their own home. Services may include cognitive behavioral therapy. Oh, I heard about that first time. CBT, behavioral therapy or other forms of therapy tolerated to the individual's needs. Third, online education and training. There are many online resources available for individuals with autism and their families to learn more about the condition and how to manage it. These resources can include webinars, videos, and online courses, examples of Online resources include the Autism Society, Autism Speaks, and Autism Learning Partners. For social media, social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter can be a great way to connect with other individuals with autism and their families. Many autism advocacy organizations and support groups have active social media pages, which can be great way to access resources and connect with others. With apps and tools, there are many apps and tools available online that can help individuals with autism manage their symptoms and improve their quality of life. Some examples include visual schedules, communication aids, and sensory processing tools. Examples of online tools and apps include Autism Speaks and the Autism up website. It's important to remember that every individual with autism is unique and what works for one person may not work for other. It's always a good idea to consult with a medical professional or therapist to determine the best course of action for the individual's specific needs. Hmm. So uh, there is a lot of way to uh, get help uh, online, get help uh, for uh, autistic person in online. Mm. Well, I learned that uh, there is uh, the word called teletherapy that therapists conduct the therapy through online. Yes. Uh, Shido GM subscribed to him, learned a lot from him, but I need personal level help sometimes. So, yeah, any online support. Yes, um, uh, I think you can find some online support by online, I think. 
uh, there is the word teletherapy. Yes, I learned about this word for the first time today, and you can seek the online therapist uh, uh, by searching teletherapist. Mm. Uh, Gokurakucho, there you go. Shido GM, nice answer, Hiroshi. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm glad that uh, you find uh, this answer is nice. So uh, I will finish the live stream, but uh, I would like to ask um, final question. It is a uh, true final question. And I would like to ask this question. Do you think that as AI continues to evolve, it will come to dominate humans? Let's go. And chat GPT said, as an AI language model, I do not have personal beliefs or feelings. However, I can provide an objective answer based on current knowledge and research. The question of whether AI will come to dominate humans is a topic of debate among experts in the field of artificial intelligence. While AI has the potential to revolutionize many aspects of our lives and bring about numerous benefits, it is unlikely that AI will come to dominate humans in the near future. Firstly, it's important to note that AI is not a monolithic entity with uh, will or desire to dominate. Rather, it is a tool that is designed and programmed by humans to perform specific tasks. AI systems are only capable of carrying out tasks that they have been programmed to do, and they do not have the ability to make decisions or take actions outside of their programming. Secondly, AI is not inherently more intelligent than humans. While AI systems can perform certain tasks with greater speed and accuracy than humans, they do not possess the same level of general intelligence, creativity, or critical thinking abilities as humans. Lastly, there are numerous ethnical and legal frameworks in place to ensure that AI is developed and used in a responsible and safe manner. Many organizations are working to establish guidelines and standards for AI development, and there are ongoing discussions about the appropriate use and regulation of AI. Overall, while AI will continue to evolve and have a significant impact on our lives, it is unlikely that it will come to dominate humans in the near future. Instead, it will likely continue to be used as a tool to enhance human productivity uh, and quality of life. Hmm. But, um, Actually, I think uh, uh, it isn't sure. Uh, like uh, this chat DPT already said, like uh, it is unlikely that it will come to dominate humans in near future. I think uh, I found that this sentence is the key in near future, but I didn't ask, uh, it will, uh, uh, I didn't ask in the near future. So I think <laughs> chat DPT consider only near, in the near future, AI will not dominate humans, but after near future, it will not sure. 
And I know that, uh, and I found that the AI have uh, certain level of ethnic things, like AI have some kind of political correctness sense. But uh, I think if some math scientists or some uh, countries who do not uh, respect the ethnicity, then the AI will behave without that uh, certain level of moral and it will be uh, dangerous, I think. Uh, yeah, it's more problem of a few billionaires controlling everything, everyone else with AI, I think so too. But uh, hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, at least the front end is open source. Yes, this is uh, uh, some AI programs are open source. So uh, people can customize freely and people can um, um, discuss the ethnicity sense of the uh, ethnicity, I mean, no, uh, moral things from the AI. I mean, uh, some people can cut off the moral aspect from the AI, then AI will be dangerous. Yes. So this is the chat GPT and I find it, this program is very sophisticated and I, I'm surprised that this AI has certain level of politically correctness and answer the very uh, sophisticated way. And uh, I think this program can be used for many ways, like making uh, writing essays, writing some uh, articles and some stories and uh, got advice from I got advice about many things. Yeah. So that was my experiment. And I found it very interesting. And in the last weekend, I may try this uh, chat GPT to ask uh, other questions, maybe, because I found it very interesting. So uh, I will finish this live stream for now and thank you for participating everyone for this live streaming and thank you for writing many chat messages in the chat box everyone. Uh, hello, Perluang Benisis, uh, thank you for participating. Hi Hiroshi, have you studied Islam? No, uh, I didn't study uh, Islam. Uh, yet, but uh, I think um, I would like to uh, know uh, the uh, Islam uh, culture someday because Islamic culture is uh, uh, have population about over uh, billion. Yes. Uh, Shoji M. Bye, Hiroshi. Oh, bye, uh, Shoji M. Uh, Kokurakujo, ask the AI. Rest of white of Thank you, Hiroshi. Thank you, Rest of white of So I will finish this live streaming for now. Uh, stay healthy and take care. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.